know, it's one thing to be a Hollywood actor, you know, make about 10, 15 million. Another thing to be Tiger Woods, LeBron James, make about 500 million, you know, Tom Brady. It's one thing to be a local politician with some power, things of that nature. But if we're talking about the pinnacle of power, well, there's only a few people who get the opportunity to do that. But you see, people like Joe Biden and people like Elon Musk are puppets to the real power. The real power is always behind the scenes. Obviously, not too many people even know who the Rothschilds even are. The power from behind the scenes. But Elon and Joe Biden have a lot in common. No, maybe not politically, but they got a lot in common. Let's talk about Joe first. You know Joe had his child and his wife die? And then was one of the young, maybe he still is, uh, the youngest senator in United States history. Again, Joe Biden, kid and child, died. His wife died. You know why? Because if you want to be a part of the elite, not just like, oh, I'm Little Wayne or, you know, just a rapper or, you know, just someone with 500 mil or maybe a billion dollars. I know people who are worth five, ten billion dollars. They ain't fucking part of the Illuminati. I know plenty of people who are worth big fucking money and they ain't no fucking Illuminati. But see, for a president, oh... You got to play the game. For a president? No, no, no. You, you, you have to cut special deals. See, if you want to be a president, if you want to be one of the richest men in the world, you have to give something up. And I'm not talking about giving up your, your, your weekend to do some work. I'm not talking about giving up your free time. I'm not even talking about giving up bad habits. You have to give up something way more important than that. Something me, you, and 99.99% of the people listening never would do. You have to give up something that's a part of you. A part of your energy. A part of your blood. You have to give up your child. And I'm not talking about giving your child for adoption either. You have to sacrifice. That's what the fuck it takes. You want to be part of the elite? Cool. Yes, you have to have some special talents. No, you know, people, you know, Joe Biden's a fucking moron, but back in the day he had some charisma. And Joe Biden had two of his sons die. Two. His wife. And that's the price the Illuminati, Babylonian Brotherhood, whatever the fuck you want to call the people at the top. That's what the price you have to pay. You have to pay it in fucking blood. You have to pay the price in fucking blood. Joe Biden made a deal. He sacrificed his fucking kids to be in power. And he's not the only one. In 2002, before Elon was Elon, his child died. I want to repeat this. His first child died with his wife. They can tell you anything they want, just like they'll say, oh, it was an accident with Joe Biden. Ain't no accidents. Elon Musk sacrificed his first child to become Elon Musk. Just like Joe Biden sacrificed his kids to be president of the United States. You know, I said, uh, I said Joe sacrificed two. Bo and his first child, a newborn, and his wife. 
Well, Elon sacrificed his first child and his second child turned into a. And I want you guys to understand. Elon gave up his first child to become who he is today. But his second child, he's pissed off at. His second child, he didn't want his second child to be. And that is why Elon's doing everything he is doing now. He's pissed. Elon is a far left liberal. You just don't notice it because the spectrum is tilted so far to the left. You just don't notice it anymore. And people like Joe Rogan and people like uh, like Elon Musk. And by the way, I'm not calling Joe Rogan elite, so don't worry about that. Elon basically is pissed off. He's a liberal. He's for uh, basically a basic income. He's for people getting money for nothing. He's for a carbon tax. And you people been fooled. He basically took over Twitter when he found out his kid was a and disowned his ass. That's all this is about. It's about he's pissed off his kid is trans. And that is why he seems like a conservative now. This man is not a conservative. Elon Musk is not a conservative. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Neuralink. He wants to put chips into people. And he's doing it. You ever hear the mark of the beast? He literally wants to put chips in people. At the same time, he calls AI dangerous. Yeah, maybe the AI you don't control. I'm going to make this abundantly clear. Elon Musk is not what you think he is. Do not trust this man. And yeah, I expect... To get completely eliminated off Twitter pretty soon. I don't give a fuck. You already took my 100k account. You think I give a fuck about this one? Take it away. You know what? what's interesting though? It's an old saying. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. People can say all this free speech on Twitter doesn't apply to me. You know Twitter hasn't even given me an explanation of why I've been suspended. Not one email. Oh, you broke rules. What are the rules? Won't respond. I know what the rules I was broken. I know exactly what they were. I've been exposing Elon Musk. That's all it is. That's all it's ever going to be, man. And it's okay. Get rid of me here. I got five IG accounts over half a mil. I got a whole bunch of uh, TikTok accounts. Over a combined million. I got to combine over 300K on YouTube. And they all hate you, Elon. So, unfortunately, that's what it's going to be now. I'm going to be much more on IG, Facebook, and I've been doing it already. But for the people on Twitter, do not trust Elon Musk. Never trust this man. A man who is willing to sacrifice his own kids for power and money is a man who doesn't have a fucking soul. Because that's what the elite demand. They demand you give up something. And it's not going to be a piece of paper or, 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 or a car or that... Uh, that uh, you know, those shoes you like. No, it's going to be real because a person with a soul can never give up on their kids, no matter what. A person with a soul couldn't even think about something like that. Elon? Elon probably couldn't cut that deal fast enough. So some people might look at him like he's actually doing good things. Always remember, 
The best lies contain little truths. And Elon, I'm going to make this abundantly clear for you. I hexed your ass. And I don't care how much power you have in the physical world. I don't care how much money you have in the physical world. You're a weak man spiritually. You're a weak man spiritually. An extremely weak man. And you son of a bitch, since you suspended my account on 18, and by the way, I know it's you. You blocked this account. You suspend, I literally paid people who are heavyweights and could fucking unblock anything. But the block I had my, on my account was all the way from the fucking top. All the way from the fucking top. Yeah, it was you, bro. All good. I knew all this stuff about you a long time ago. I just kept my mouth shut. But now that my fucking Twitter is gone, fuck it. So fucking be it. You've been hexed. That's why your fucking factory in Germany fucking burned down and cost you a fucking billion dollars. That's why the Delaware court system overturned your $57 billion compensation. That's why India and the billionaires there are very, very close to throwing your ass out. You got more money than me. You got more power than me. But at the end of the day, I'm still a 33 life path. And I'm much superior to you in every way spiritually. You've been hexed, Elon. And I'm going to make this abundantly clear. 2025 is going to be the worst fucking year of your life. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing, you can fucking do about it to stop it. Suspend this account, man. There's at least fucking 200 people recording this right now. It's going to be all over IG, all over everything. Shouldn't have suspended my account, you fucking piece of shit. Now you have an enemy for life. 